we manage just under 2,700 endpoints currently uh, and around 170 servers. The enabled products that we're currently using are Insight, uh, the RMM, uh, alongside Cove Data Backup, and then within within Insight we use Sentinel One EDR, uh, a little bit of Bitdefender. Uh, we also use Web Protection. The challenges we face day to day as a business, I'd say, are fairly typical of most MSPs. At this point, when we we manage everything for a client, that includes you know cyber security. Uh, hardware, connectivity, IP phones, um, the, the, the amount that we now manage um, for even just one client is, is significant. Um, and if you spread that out across you know, 200 clients, um, you're looking at a massive amount of um, knowledge required and a massive amount of I suppose, potential problems. Uh, when we go out to see a customer for the first time, when we first meet them, um, we always go and see them face to face. This is part of us building a relationship and trying to see if we're a good fit for them and if they're a good fit for us. But there is a technical side to it as well, of course. And part of this is always taking the enable agent with us to site. We'll install the agent on all the machines and servers on the network. And that lets us take a digital survey of all of their assets. So we do that sometimes per machine or sometimes using RMM um, all in one go. And we're able to then bring that back to the office, sit down, look at the entire estate and build a bit of a picture of their IT footprint by looking at the network as well. When we use Insight in this way, we're able to go back to them straight away with some insights into their IT setup. And we can instantly tell them some things that we would look to change and solve in their setup. Obvious things that we look at are things like the age of machines, the way the hardware is performing, whether any OSs are out of date and whether they need to look at replacing any machines. Uh, and straight away, we can almost build a bit of a timeline as to how we're going to support them going forward. And we do all that using uh, the data that the Insight agent gathers from their network. Beyond that, after we've been to site, uh, gather this information, we often invite them into our office again to sort of carry on building this relationship uh, but what we often do is is, is sit down with them uh, get insight up on the television um, and show them around the product we don't go into a, a great deal of technical detail but what it can show them straight away is wow you know there's an office here with a uh, help desk of nine and really a couple of those guys are not on day-to-day -day tickets and they're managing 2700 machines um, we can show them how we do that we can show them the kind of level of detail we can go into in terms of what we can look at on a machine and its issues. We can show them uh, the core data backup and how that allows us to back up data multiple times a day um, and all the automation that goes with that. Um, and uh, you can just go from being the IT guys um, to someone who is actually really managing someone's IT in, in a proper way and proactively managing it as well. So people are impressed by that. They like to see... We use some of the reports and the dashboards to demonstrate some of that too. We can, we can instantly show them, you know, issues we've got in our stay and what we'd be doing about that, and how that kind of links into our ticketing system too. So straight away, we can we can just use the tool, even just at a very high level, to demonstrate what kind of value we're going to add to their business if they're to uh, take us on board as a as a as a customer. We almost call enable. Uh, and, the, and the kind of office visit, it's like our 12th man, to use a football analogy. Um, we, we find that when we bring people into the office um, and show them insight and how it works, we more than often win the contract. So, um, yeah, it's been really, really effective for us as a sales tool as well. We've been working with Enable for around 17 years. And in that time, we've only had uh, three account managers. Um, and I, I find that absolutely fantastic, um, you know, if we compare that with some of our relationships with other um, providers who remain undamed, um, you know, it couldn't be more different. Um, a real highlight of this relationship we've got currently with our current account manager, Mark. Uh, we went last year to Nice. Uh, we were taken there by Enable to an operational efficiency workshop that they put on. And there were around 20 MSPs who came from Northern Europe to that workshop. Uh, and it was to look at benchmarking around financial and operational stats with your business uh, and, and everyone 
enter that data and other bands and we were able to then sit there for a couple of days uh, and drill into it and, and figure out you know who's good at what who's not good at what and how we can all help each other um, and you know the, the, one of the days we went for a run with Mark in the morning um, you know we, we, we've built a real genuine relationship there uh, it's not transactional um, yes there's a transactional element but you, you know the, the relationship is, is it transcends that um, it's much more about kind of working together and, and the, the feeling we really got from that, those couple of days uh, was that Enable want to invest in us and help us to grow because they recognise that if they do that, it's good for them too. Um, you know, it, it, it's just a symbiotic relationship. Um, and that, that, that couple of days was one of the best uh, IT-related networking opportunities we've had in recent years across anything. And we got, we got to quite a lot. Yes, I definitely recommend Insight to an MSP who's looking to change their RMM or possibly use an RMM for the first time. Uh, brings so much value to our business. Uh, and just having a demo of it, having a look at what it can do, how it can really give you that visibility of your estate and the ability to provide a true managed IT service. Uh, I would recommend that to anyone who's looking to make a switch or maybe use one for the first time.